G'day and welcome back to another two air dispatcher tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is made for dispatcher version 1.1.3. Uh, you can access the latest dispatcher versions from our website under resources <coughs> or contact us via support at twoair.com.au. So the dispatcher can listen in on multiple groups. Uh, we call that monitoring. Uh, you can either do this across all the groups at once, or we can do it in individual groups. Um, so from our dispatcher, um, we can navigate through to our top top menu bar up here. We click left click on a monitor group. Uh, this will start monitoring every single group that we are a member of. As you can see, uh, it's changed to cancel monitoring at the top here, and also from the left hand pane, we have all the groups arrows are now purple, meaning that we are actually monitoring these groups. So if a user were to be in one of these groups, we would now be able to listen in on what he's saying. If I just chuck into TV, uh, we can see that Jill is in this group in CBD, but we are actually in Bondi office. But if I start playing, I start the screen, we actually can hear Jill from the CBD group. Now we can turn this off by left clicking again, cancel monitor. And now you can see all the arrows have stopped being purple and are now black again. Now we can actually monitor individual groups. So if you don't want to listen in on it, every single group, we can navigate to our fixed group pane here, right click on a group we wish to monitor and left click monitor group. As you can see, the arrow has changed to purple, which means we're now monitoring or listening in on that group. So again, if a user were to enter into that group and start talking, we would also get that audio as well. We can cancel the individual monitoring group by right clicking on the group and selecting all cancel monitor with left click. And that is the group monitoring features of the two air dispatcher. We can also monitor or do a loan worker timer for individual users. So if I pick a user I wish to set a monitor on or a loan worker timer on, I can find my user from the user list display, right click on the user and select left click on loan worker timer. We'll get a prompt asking how many minutes we'd like to set for the uh, loan worker timer. I'm not just going to set it to one minute here. So what this basically does is if this user does not PTT in or transmit in across the group, uh, our timer will go off and we'll be alerted that this user has not PTT'd into the group. And that's why we call it loan worker feature. It's just to make sure that the user is doing call-ins or callbacks um, to ensure the user is still operating their radio or that they're safe uh, in different scenarios. You can see by the green icon that he has got a loan worker timer set currently and that minute should be depleting fairly quickly here. But once the minute is up, uh, we will have that alert prompt come through. And we will be able to see who's missed the one minute PTT. So as you can see, we've got an audible alarm tells us who that is. Click confirm. Now this will continue to keep going. Um, if we reset the uh, loan worker timer, this will now have just been reset to another minute because that's the timer that we've set it to. So every time this user talks, it will be reset back to that one minute timer to then acknowledge that he's a loan worker. We can cancel loan worker by right clicking on the user and left clicking cancel loan worker. 
this will prevent uh, the timer from operating and we won't get any more alert prompts anymore. So that is the loaner worker timer feature for the two air dispatcher. We also have a SOS duress alert button across the two air system. Um, essentially every radio bar the TA308 and TA300 have an SOS duress key. Uh, once pressed or held or activated, uh, the system broadcasts an alarm with audible tone and visual alert uh, to all the radios part of the system. If I just set up a alarm here on my test item, Jill. So from Jill, I'm about to trigger an SOS alarm. Jill's had to press and hold their SOS button for three seconds. As you can see, I can click on map. And this will take me to Jill's location on our map display. Uh, you would have noticed also the audio was still coming through from Jill. Uh, on some of our radios, we do have hot mic SOS, which basically means once the SOS is triggered, the microphone will stay open uh, for 20 seconds to a minute or so for the user to talk through the radio uh, once the SOS is triggered. Please keep in mind, as the dispatcher, if you were to broadcast back to the user, you will be overriding that hot mic transmission and take this system back to your original two-way communication. Uh, also, back from that SOS duress, there was send a message option as well. If we left click send message, uh, it'll take us to our map display, showing the user's location again. However, we can now send the user a message. Uh, this will send the message only to that one user sending the SOS uh, message. So this SOS dress alert, uh, if triggered, will send across to all radios on your fleet. Um, all the other radios would have just received an annoying audible tone and the red SOS in the top of their screens. This is customizable. We can uh, disable to whom receives SOS alerts. So if you only wanted supervisors or managers to receive SOS alerts or the base station, dispatching base station control room, we can set it up in that fashion. This has been the monitor group loan worker monitoring and SOS duress features for the two air dispatcher. Uh, thank you for listening. And hopefully we have uh, guided you through some of the features.